Hey you all, it's Elise, and I just spent the day down at the beach here in Coeur d'Alene. And I wanted to go live with you all and let you know that I have thought of three points that will help you become a highly successful network marketing leader. <laughs> hey Wendy. Um, so basically, it comes down to your mindset right? And how do we adopt the mindset of an entrepreneur? So the point number one is mindset. Make the decision that you're going to adopt the mindset of an entrepreneur rather than one of an employee. And this is going to go a little bit against the grain of the way you've been raised probably and maybe the fact that you've been an employee. I don't know. But culturally speaking, it is more common for people in the U.S. to be an employee rather than an entrepreneur. So you've got to cultivate the mindset of an entrepreneur and the mindset of an entrepreneur that really works well in network marketing is someone who takes ownership of their feelings and they take ownership of the results in their business, right? They also are people that create a drama free zone in their business and their life. Now these people become highly successful because if you think about it, the person that you are right now in this moment has been formed through your experiences. And so if you want to create a highly successful business, you need to be forward thinking. Stop repeating stories or beliefs that happened to you in the past. They're not going to serve you in the future. So that forward thinking, I'm going to figure it out. Entrepreneurial mindset is something that can be learned. So make that decision today. That's point one is make the decision to think like an entrepreneur. Point two is identify the skills that create the most results in your business and then focus on those daily until you master them and they become very easy for you. So let's be honest, whatever your business is, you're going to need to be able to be in front of people, talking to people, whether that is on the phone or that is on a live video and that, that could be on Facebook or that could be on Instagram, right? But you've got to make the decision that you're going to show up. And you're going to teach something. You're going to add value to other people's lives. People like to learn and they like to be entertained. So if you can be the person who decides to show up and share or teach every day. Yes, I said every day because it takes consistency to build a following. And I didn't get to 15,000 fans on this fan page without being, in, you know, by being inconsistent. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to be consistent and show up regularly. Also, you'll notice I show up regularly on my personal Facebook page as well as on my Instagram stories, as well as on my fan page, right? So it takes some planning because I'm an introvert. And so obviously putting myself out there drains my energy. Introverts, we are drained by putting ourselves out in front of people. Extroverts increase their energy when they are out in front of people. I like to say I'm a situational extrovert. <laughs> but I know that when, in order for me to show up on a consistent basis, I have to make it as a part of my day and I have to do it when I have the highest energy level. I also know that showing up in the evenings has the most results, but sometimes that doesn't work into my schedule like today. You know, we're hanging out here in Idaho for a full week, full week, and I'm still able to fit in a quick video. I'm still able to help enroll new customers because I have systems in place where I've got an automated text messaging system that goes out. I've got emails that go out when I plug them into the, my um, personal database. And that those systems have created freedom for me in my life. Like here I am, I run a multi-million dollar network marketing business and I can be a week at the lake and pop on to live video for 10 to 20 minutes each day every other day, something like that, and still be consistent in building my following. Do you see? So I pop on and I teach. That's what I do. Now, step three would be to cultivate conversations. So now you're paying attention to, you know, who is watching your live videos, or if you are on the phone talking to people, because I, I truly believe that the old school method of talking to people really does create results because you've got to be in front of a lot of people on live video to have a lot of interaction 
because it is a numbers game and there is a level of disconnect between just doing a video and picking up the phone and talking to somebody. So, hey, Trisha, um, thanks for missing me. I missed you too. So, what if I, for example, if I saw Trisha here pop on and, for example, she says, I've missed seeing you, then after this video, I pick up the phone and I'm like, hey, Trisha, girl, missed you too. What is new in your life? That's it, you all. That is how you build connection. That's how you grow your network, is you just show up and you have conversations, you add value, you think about how you can help other people solve your solve whatever issues, right? <laughs> and then you're able to grow your network as a result because you're consistent, you're showing up, you're thinking like an entrepreneur and asking yourself, how can I solve this? How can, what's my next best step? I'm no longer available for drama and gossip and negativity. <laughs> the birds around here are hilarious. There's a osprey nest and a baby osprey is fledging and learning to fly. So very squawky. If you heard that. Um, so anyway, those are my three tip tips for you all. I hope that you've enjoyed them. If you did, type um, your favorite tip in the comments there. Remember, it was entrepreneurial mindset. Number two is show up consistently. That means you're going to be talking to people either on the phone, you're going to be making live videos. Those are the most impactful. And number three, uh, my husband came out when I was on number three and now I can't remember what it was because he looks so handsome over there. Ah, he didn't hear it. Sorry. <laughs> Number three is follow up and conversations so that you can continue to expand your network and your influence. That was it. <laughs> so you all, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watch the replay, please type replay. If you are um, watching this for the first time, please comment first time. And if you have any team members that would enjoy watching these three tips, then please tag them. And don't forget to click that follow button so that you are notified when I go live. Thanks for tuning in today and come back again tomorrow because my brain is very much creative on this trip. It's so relaxing here. And um, I've got five minutes to spare to share, you, share with you all my hottest tips. So I'm excited about that for tomorrow. So see you then, bye.